Mr. Luby here, and I've just been alerted to another option, SSH option, for connecting to the Hudson Valley ACAD NX server, and that of course is our Linux Ubuntu server. So I am in Windows here, although it's a Windows virtual machine within Mac OS, and I'm going to, in my location bar, let's search for the Chrome SSH extension plugin. Um, you can probably search for either one. So here it is. Go to this one. Secure Shell app. Again, this is a Chrome plugin or Chrome extension. And I'm going to add to Chrome. So add the app. There we go. We saw that it downloaded. Fine. And we should see, there's the Secure Shell app. Um, you will see, um, if I opened another window, it will actually show as an icon up here in the right-hand corner along with all the other extensions. Let's just do this. Okay. Um, this took me straight to it. Sometimes when I saw my first demo, you actually had to, there was a dialog box up here, and you actually had to open the connection box. So in this case, I did not have to do that. And I'll type in, look at that, autofill, j.luby at academics.hvcc.edu. And it separates out my username and the domain. Great. And I'll choose, click enter. Yes, I'll allow that. I'll allow that. And here we go. Are you sure you want to con continue connecting? And sometimes, some of you, I am on campus. Um, it really shouldn't make a difference. Again, sometimes the certificate may not display correctly and you'll have to choose to accept the certificate. So yes, I will choose yes. So added to list of known hosts, that's great. And of course, I provide my password. And I'm in. I am logged in to the Hudson Valley Community College a CAD NX server, which is a Linux, an, an Ubuntu Linux server. That's Ubuntu is the distribution. And just to check and verify, should everything's everything's there. Did my listing. It looks familiar. Um, and that's it. And so this is another option, great for Windows users if they don't want to install PuTTY. And it is also good for Chromebook users. And I'll have to check this. I'm not sure how what plugins work on the iPads and devices such as that, but I'll check that and see if that might be an option for iPad users as